Cockpit color wars? Red, blue, no, it's green. Ever wonder why Russian fighter jet cockpits look like they belong in a 70s disco? It's not just a random choice or a quirky design decision, there's actually a fascinating history and science behind it. You know, all that greenish-blue lighting? It's not just for show. This color scheme has been meticulously chosen for very specific reasons. Meanwhile, American jets are sleek and stealthy with their black and gray interiors. These colors might seem dull in comparison, but they serve a critical purpose too. It's like comparing a lava lamp to a stealth bomber. One is vibrant and eye-catching, while the other is all about blending in and staying under the radar. Turns out there's a method to the madness. The choice of cockpit colors is deeply rooted in ergonomics and human factors engineering. Both sides have their reasons, and believe me it ain't just about aesthetics. The colors are chosen to enhance pilot performance and reduce fatigue. We're talking about pilot comfort, visibility, and ultimately, mission success. The right color can make a huge difference in how well a pilot can perform under pressure. So buckle up, Buttercup, as we delve into the colorful world of cockpit design. We'll uncover the secrets behind these choices and how they impact the pilots who rely on them. We'll explore why the Russians love their green glow and why the West prefers to keep it dark. Each approach has its own set of advantages and challenges. By the end you'll be fluent in cockpit color theory, ready to impress your friends at the next air show. You'll understand the science, the history, and the practical reasons behind these fascinating design choices. Inside Ivan's office, a sea of green. Step into a Russian fighter jet cockpit and you'll be greeted by a distinct greenish-blue hue. It's like diving into an aquarium, minus the fish and the calming effect. This color scheme isn't limited to fighter jets either, you'll find it across their military aircraft. From helicopters to transport planes the Russians seem to have a thing for this unique shade. Some folks might call it dated, but hey if it ain't broke don't fix it, right? The Russians have been rocking this green glow for decades and they've got a pretty good track record. So before we jump to conclusions about their interior design choices, let's dig a little deeper and see what's behind this green obsession. Seeing green why the Russians dig it. Now the million dollar question, why the green? Well the Russians aren't just messing with us, though it wouldn't be surprising. They've got some practical reasons for their color choice. First off, green is easy on the eyes. Imagine staring at a bright white cockpit during a long mission. Talk about eye strain. The greenish blue light is gentler, reducing fatigue and allowing pilots to stay focused. Secondly, this color scheme is great for low light conditions. Think about flying at night or in cloudy weather. The green helps pilots read instruments and navigate without their eyes having to constantly adjust. Finally, there's the whole matter of camouflage. A brightly lit cockpit at night is like a beacon screaming, here I am, come shoot me. The green glow minimizes the chances of being spotted by the enemy. But let's dive a bit deeper into the science behind this choice. The human eye is more sensitive to green light, which means it can detect more shades of green than any other color. This sensitivity helps pilots distinguish between different controls and instruments more easily, especially in high-stress situations. Moreover, green light has been found to be less disruptive to our circadian rhythms. This is crucial for pilots who often have to fly at odd hours and need to maintain their alertness and cognitive functions. Extended missions can be grueling, and anything that helps reduce fatigue and maintain focus is invaluable. The greenish-blue hue is not just a random choice, it's a well-thought-out decision to enhance pilot performance and safety. Historically, the use of green lighting in Russian cockpits dates back to the Cold War era. It was during this time that extensive research was conducted to find the optimal lighting conditions for pilots. The findings led to the adoption of the greenish-blue lighting that we see today. Modern Russian fighter jets have continued to use this color scheme, integrating it with advanced technology to further enhance its benefits. The combination of tradition and innovation ensures that Russian pilots have the best possible conditions for their missions. Training also plays a significant role. Pilots are trained extensively in these green-lit cockpits making them accustomed to the lighting conditions from the very beginning of their careers. This familiarity helps them perform better under real combat situations. So, the next time you see a Russian cockpit bathed in that distinctive greenish-blue light, you'll know it's not just for show. It's a carefully considered choice, rooted in science and tradition, aimed at giving Russian pilots the edge they need to succeed, and that's why the Russians dig it. Back in black the Western approach. Now, 
Let's hop across the pond and check out the Western approach. Step into an American fighter jet, and you'll feel like you've entered a stealth bomber, even if it's a cargo plane. Black and gray dominate the cockpit, creating a sleek and modern feel. This color scheme is all about minimizing distractions and maximizing focus. The dark background makes instruments and displays pop, allowing pilots to quickly absorb critical information. Think of it like a high-tech movie theater. The darkened environment helps you focus on the screen, or in this case, the mission at hand. So, while the Russians are all about that green glow, the West prefers to keep it dark and focused. Different strokes for different folks, right? If you're enjoying this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more fascinating insights. Section 5, A Blast from the Past, Tracing the Roots To understand the origins of these color schemes, we need to hop in a time machine and travel back a few decades. Back in the day, cockpit lighting wasn't exactly a top priority. Early aircraft had limited electrical systems, and cockpits were often illuminated by dim incandescent bulbs. These bulbs emitted a yellowish-white light, which wasn't ideal for night flying. As technology advanced, so did cockpit lighting. The Russians experimented with different colors and found that greenish-blue offered the best balance of visibility and fatigue reduction. Meanwhile, the West went down a different path, focusing on developing advanced instrument displays and lighting systems that minimized glare and enhanced contrast. Section 6. Practicalities over pizzazz, function over form. Now before we start judging anyone's color preferences, it's important to remember that cockpit design is all about practicality, not interior decorating. Pilots need to be able to read instruments clearly, operate controls efficiently, and maintain situational awareness, regardless of the lighting conditions. Both the Russian and Western approaches have their pros and cons, and ultimately, it comes down to what works best for the pilots and the missions they fly. So, whether you prefer the green glow of a Russian cockpit or the sleek darkness of a Western jet, remember that it's all about function over form in the world of aviation. Section 7, to each their own hue, a matter of perspective. The great cockpit color debate is a bit like arguing over pizza toppings. Some folks like pineapple, weirdos, while others prefer pepperoni. It's all a matter of taste, right? The same goes for cockpit lighting. Russian pilots are used to their green glow, while Western pilots prefer their black and gray cockpits. What's important is that the pilots are comfortable and can perform their duties effectively. So, the next time you see a picture of a Russian cockpit and think, man, that's green, remember that there's a reason behind the color choice. And who knows, maybe you'd actually prefer it if you spent some time flying in one. Section 8. Beyond the color palette, what really matters? At the end of the day, the color of a cockpit is just one small piece of the puzzle when it comes to aircraft design and pilot performance. Factors like ergonomics, instrument layout, and overall cockpit design play a much larger role in pilot comfort, efficiency, and safety. So while the green glow of a Russian cockpit might catch your eye, it's important to remember that there's a lot more to a successful aircraft than just its color scheme. Section 9. In the cockpit, it's all about the mission green black or polka dot. Whether you're flying a Russian fighter jet bathed in green light, which can sometimes feel like you're in a sci-fi movie, or a western jet with its sleek black and gray cockpit reminiscent of a high-tech control room, the mission remains the same, to fly the plane safely and effectively. The color scheme might set the mood, but it doesn't change the objective. Cockpit color is just one small element in a complex system designed to help pilots do their jobs. From the myriad of buttons and switches to the advanced displays and instrumentation, every detail is meticulously planned. So, the next time you find yourself debating the merits of green versus black cockpits, consider the broader picture. It's not just about aesthetics, it's about functionality and efficiency. Remember that it's the pilot, not the paint job, that ultimately determines the success of the mission. The skill, training, and focus of the pilot are what truly matter. And hey, if a little green light helps a pilot stay focused and alert, providing a calming effect in high-stress situations, who are we to judge? After all, every pilot has their own preferences and what works best for them. Maybe we could all use a little more green in our lives. Green is often associated with tranquility and balance, which can be beneficial in high-pressure environments, just not on our pizzas. While green might be great for a cockpit, 
it doesn't quite have the same appeal when it comes to food. So, let's keep the green where it belongs, in the cockpit, and not on our plates. Training simulators often replicate these cockpit environments, allowing pilots to get accustomed to the lighting and layout before they even step into a real aircraft. Briefings and debriefings also play a crucial role in mission success. Pilots discuss every detail, from the flight plan to potential challenges, ensuring they're prepared for anything. The gear pilots wear, including their helmets and visors, is also designed with precision, contributing to their overall performance and safety. So the next time you see a jet taking off into the sunset, remember the intricate details and the dedicated professionals behind the scenes, making it all possible. From vintage cockpits with their analog dials to modern ones with digital displays, the evolution of cockpit design is a testament to the advancements in aviation technology. And at the end of the day, it's the camaraderie and teamwork among pilots that truly make a difference. They rely on each other, regardless of the color of their cockpit. Because in the sky, it's not about green, black, or polka dot. It's about precision, skill, and the unwavering commitment to the mission. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more fascinating insights.